So I've actually been to Toronto once, went and saw uh, the National Hockey Hall of Fame, got to see the Stanley Cup. But the funny thing about it is, is I didn't know that two years later, the Stanley Cup would show up in my bar. Well, real quick, we're making a Toronto cocktail. I'm gonna use Broken Barrel Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. I'm gonna do two ounces of that into the tin here. So anyway, we're at the bar and just doing our regular stuff. And then all of a sudden, a couple guys sit down in nice clothes and all that. And we're thinking, what, what are these guys? So we start talking to them. Well, it turns out they're the Stanley Cup officials, half ounce of Fournette. And they're in town because the Blues are in the, the, the playoffs. So we get kind of excited, like, do you have the Stanley Cup with you? And they're like, yeah, it's in the car. Anyway, they brought it out, got the gloves and everything. The funny thing is they got out the gloves and all this jazz, but we <laughs> we didn't uh, we didn't treat it very nicely. We picked it up, we kissed it, we did all the stuff you shouldn't do. I'm gonna stir this for 20 seconds in a chilled glass, okay? Long story short, we all took a giant picture with it, had a good time, and then the Blues did not win the Stanley Cup. Speaking of cups, you can use whatever cup you want so long as it is chilled like this one right here. Express the lemon oils in here and go all around the edges. You can't see it, but uh, the lemon oils were as expressed in here. And this is the Toronto cocktail. It's kind of a classic cocktail. I got it from the Death & Co. Guide uh, book, but uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice one. I love rye whiskey and Fernet and Demerara. So anyway, cheers.